Here we have a buffer problem. Uh, it's composed of a weak acid and its conjugate base. Uh, we know that when we put the sodium acetate in solution, what we actually achieve in solution is sodium ions and the acetate ions. So we have um, acetic acid over here and our acetate ion. So we have weak acid, its conjugate base in solution. This is a buffer. Uh, furthermore, it's a balanced buffer, meaning that the concentrations of the acid and the base are the same. And the result of a balanced buffer is that pH is going to equal pKa. Uh, this is because when we use Henderson-Hasselbalch, and that is the pH is equal to pKa plus log of our base to acid. And a balanced buffer, the concentration of the base and the acid is the same, so we're going to take the log of 1, and the log of 1 is equal to 0, this whole thing goes to zero, and that's why on a, with a balanced buffer, pH is equal to pKa, which is negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. It wasn't given to us here, but we can easily look that up for acetic acid if we don't happen to remember it. And this is 4.7447. Now in terms of sig figs, um, two sig figs here in our Ka and then our concentration, so we want two sig figs in our answer. Remember when you take the log of a number, uh, those in the result, the only decimals that count towards sig figs are those after the decimal point. So if we have two decimals after the decimal point, we can round that off. Our initial pH is 4.74. All right, so we add a small amount of HCl, a strong acid. Uh, the added acid is going to react with the base part of the buffer. So we can show that. Here's the base part of the buffer, the acetate ion, the conjugate base. It's going to react with the H3O plus. It's generated when this strong acid is put into solution. And we generate an equal amount of our weak acid. So some of our conjugate base has been converted to our acid. So what happens is the ratio of the base to the acid is shifted a little bit by this addition of the strong acid. So we can, uh, to find out how much, we can calculate the initial moles of each. molarity times volume for each 0.5 moles per liter and this is in a 1 liter volume of the buffer so we have 0 0.50 moles of both the acid and the base um, the added acid, acid reacts with the base part of the buffer so we've lo lost some of our base and we've gained an equal amount of that acid so 0.02 moles of the base is going to react. Started out with 0 0.50. We're losing an amount equal to the amount of the acid that we're adding. Final moles 
or acid goes up by the same amount that the base is losing. So we're losing some of the base and creating an equal amount of the acid. So that's plus 0 0.020 moles. 0.48 moles. Alright, now since the, everything is in the same pot, we can use the shortcut that the ratio of the moles of the base to the acid is the same as the moles of the base to the moles of the acid. All right, so now apply henderson hasselbach or pH is equal to pKa plus log ratio of the base to the acid. And negative log moles of the base is 0.52. Oops, <laughs> I did my math exactly backwards. 0 0.52. You could add subtract, that would be helpful. Okay, so this is 0 0.48, 0 0.52. All right, so now we have 4.7447 plus, um, if we do this calculation, this comes out to be a negative 0.0348, and therefore this is 4.7099. Two sig figs, our new pH is 4.71. So by adding a moderate amount of a strong acid to a buffer, our pH has decreased. We started at 4.74 and we've decreased by 0 0.03 pH units. So the pH has gone down but only by a small amount due to the buffer action.